beautiful sound, one of the most powerful sound in the world. It is sound of your heart. Have you ever thought, how does your heart beat in particular moment of your life? I remember one, very special one. It was 9 p.m. Maidan 2014, the revolution of dignity. Each day, from month to month, thousands of people was gathering on the main square and they've been singing our national hymn. It is about freedom, it is about courage, and of course about dignity. There was one more hut on Maidan, the hut of Vasil Moisei. He was 21 when he consciously decided to go on Maidan and to fight for his freedom, to fight for the future of his country. He died. On the last day on Maidan, he was shot. His last words was, I'm sorry, I love you all. Now he is our angel of change because he changed for many people, their hearts, their minds, and their destiny. I was honored to be a lawyer of family of Vasily. And I'm just dishonored that my country still couldn't punish his murders. We didn't have too much time in reality to say goodbye to all these guys who died during Maidan, to our heavenly hundred, because new arena appeared. Russians occupied Crimea and they invaded east of Ukraine. And many young people just from Maidan grabbed their things and they decided to go to fight for their motherland. One of them was Taras. He was just 23 when he voluntarily decided to go and to fight, to fight for his land, to fight for my peaceful life. He came back after two years. He protected our country not just with his body, but with his health, with his huge future and happiness. He used to be a chef of the restaurant, very good one, but he couldn't continue because he has very dangerous trauma and he was lost, he was lack of spirit. And one day he decided, if I could find courage to fight with such a powerful enemy as Putin, as Russia, why I couldn't find this courage to find my life, to find my way to live in a peaceful country. And now he received a degree in a public policy and he inspired a lot, thousands of veterans of, in Ukraine. We have many of them and all of them, they're young people. You may be thinking now, where is my story in two of these stories? My story is about real people, because democracy, it's not abstract thing. Democracy, it is about personalities. And each of them, they paid price for this democracy. I didn't have too much time to decide if I want or don't to go to the politics. I have just 24 hours. At that moment, I was very successful lawyer, self-made woman, activist, leader of NGO, and I could stay and live my happy life. But you know, I was thinking it was a momentum. It was my momentum to pay, to pay the price for the future of my country. And I decided to go. I, I was thinking that changes will be very fast. It didn't happen. And now I know that path of changes is very long and you need to be, first of all, very patient, second, very brave, and third, you need to be passionate about what you are doing. All of us, we paid our price. And I do believe that democracy, of course, it is a standard. It is rule of law, it is free elections, media, civil society. But first of all, I do believe that democracy and pulse of democracy is in inspired minds and in brave hearts. First of all, in your brave hearts. Thank you.